Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. Ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Fairbury Speedway. Fairbury American Legion Speedway, if you want to do the entire name. It's round number five of the World Nelly Productions Tuesday Night Cluster Truck. We've got twin 25s here with the Jumpy Trucks here at Fairbury. We're so glad you could join us on the Slide Job Racing Network. I'm Marty Sakiela. Let's talk about what's on in store tonight for the MST Photos Twin 25s. So once again, as I mentioned, we are at the halfway point of the season. You'll see eight laps for the heat races, 25 laps for each features, and a bunch of bunch of inverts will be taking place. Once we complete the first feature, we'll do an entire invert of the grid. The drivers will have five minutes to buzz the track for the second half of the feature, and then we will get our second feature going. In case you missed us last week, we had our first repeat winner of the season in Dave Bodio and a wild race that went down at Lima Land last week, but was a lot of fun though, that's for sure. So. We check that last week at Lanier. So as we get things all set to go here, let's, uh, let's show you how the points stack up coming on in. It's qualifying again continues right now at the moment. Points coming on in. We've got a tight battle at the moment. Jesse Isidore has the points lead as things stand in the number 15. A three-point advantage 
on Zane Harvey, who is second in points. Jesse Dunaway is third, who is about seven points behind. And James Vanland fourth. Caleb Boatwright rounds out the top five. So still a tight battle in the race towards the championship. We do also have some big news that I believe we can officially announce here. Daniel Nelligan shared it to me uh, last week, and uh, we can confirm it for you. There will be a second season of Tuesday Night Cluster Trucks here on Slide Job Racing Network. So we're very excited to tell you about what's going on here uh, for season number two. We continue on with an eight race season. Actually, check that, a 11 race season. That will begin on May 21st with our kickoff at Concord Speedway and will end on July 30th at South Boston Speedway. We also have an all-star race planned on May 14th to kick off the season. That will take place on the Oval of Las Vegas, the Infield Legends Oval. And uh, we'll have a format for that in just a bit. That could also be changed throughout the se season. Season two will have Concord, then Wild West Motorsports Park, Okayama Speed International Circuit. We go to Sakuba for the first time ever, as well as Mid-Ohio. Then we go to Lanier, Lernerville, Jefferson Circuit, Summit Point, Lima Land, Wild Horse Pass, and end the season at South Boston. Three heats are set for each driver for each uh, of the first feature, each before the first feature of the night. Let's get things set to go and give you your starting lineup. Nicholas Sloan won the season opener that took place at Langley. He starts on pole position. Next to him, it's Zane Harvey in the 22. Row number two, it's the nine of Brody Disher. Next to Jesse Dunaway in the 02. Running out the field is Jason Fanton in truck 85. A lot of trucks with the Hooters colors on. Of course, I believe I would go to assume a bunch of them were celebrating Chase Elliott's win from last Sunday at Texas Motor Speedway. And uh, oh yeah, you can't forget either the free wings that Hooters is, was able to give out on Monday. As we get set to go racing, let us know who you're rooting for. Thanks for joining us this evening as we begin the second half of the Tuesday night cluster truck season. Can we invert the top six, three heats set this evening, so the winner will start sixth, and if the driver that finishes second will start third. Alone and Harvey bring us the green flag, green the first flag, of 10 flag. lap heats underway. Three wide already for the top spot, Zane Harvey. On the top shelf, go for the race lead. That's Brody Disher trying to make a two for one impact and go for the race lead. Nearly got it in turn number four. Alone now tries to show his nose underneath as the two beat and bang off for turn two. And he's slicing and dicing for right now as Harvey hangs on. There was a driver's meeting. I didn't listen to it before we got started with our qualifying. And uh, the, the key rule was that you cannot nail Fallon or Chastain in the corners. Well, that is wall riding. It's very easy to do here at Fairbury. Look at that corner to see. Both crews will definitely work here tonight, that's for sure. Of course, one of the more interesting things here, more important things, is turn number four. You see that hump, if you get too low, you may go over it from time to time. Very tight racing for second here between Alone and Disher. Both have won races throughout the season. Disha loves to race these Pro 4 trucks in his downtime as he taps the wall once again. Everybody makes the show here tonight, and I believe we had our we have our biggest car count of the season. Just about 14 drivers, I want to say, if I've got that correct. So a very good count that we have here tonight. Zane Harvey, that remains out in front in the Mopar Ram 22. 1.1 second advantage on Brody Disher early. Then Nicholas Alone is second. Jason Fant, Jason, to me Alone is third. Jason Fant is fourth. Jesse Dunaway rounds out the top five. Let's go on board here for a lap with Alone. Trying to go for the slide job and makes contact with Disher. 
Disher with a little payback, moves him up the hill, and Disher takes second. Final lap is underway in heat race number one. We're trading paint, and it's just the first heat. Zane Harvey, though, last time by, quickest lap, 1486. Checkers are out as he wins heat race number one. I think he may have run out of gas or something. Go to the checkered flag as the car looked to be stalling. But he'll start sixth tonight. Brody Disher will start third. We now move on to heat race number two. Here's the starting lineup. James McMillan on pole position, the number one. Next to him, Dave Bodio in the 16. Row number two, Caleb Boatwright in the 06. Next to Henry Frazier making his debut in truck 17. Round up the field, another driver that's making his debut tonight. That's Nathan Brady in the 77. Of course, the big storyline was with this front row last week at Lanier. Dave Bodio was the first repeat winner and almost lost it. Almost lost it to James McMillan. Who ran near the front throughout the race and took out Dave Bodio, spun him out with under 10 laps to go last week. However, though, Bodio was given his spot back. McMillan was forced to the rear. That's been made a new row last week. It was a part of a group decision, but now this week, he's now in the row. row, row. Cause caution, potentially take someone out. You're going to the rear, and the person that got taken out will gain their spot back. No call for Nathan Gray to grid. Winner starts fifth. Green, green, second green. place finisher starts second as we're green for E2. Bodie on McMillan, door to door in the turn number three. Frazier stuck in the third position. Boat right laying down by himself in four. High side of the group right now for the drivers in E2. You saw Frazier crack the wall in the second corner. The I box brings number 17. Now shows his nose underneath. Last and tuck it back in line is the high side of the half more auto. Up uh, here with Henry Frazier. You see he's trying to slide job, but he's just losing time doing that. He's trying to close down. As he taps the wall again in turn two, that this time he's turned fourth direction. The exit of the corner seemed to be his biggest weakness. While for McMillan, it's the entry. Beaks downstairs, trying to go for that race lead. Nothing's working. 15.03, last time by for Dave Bodio. Quickest lap for anyone in this evening. Now making a 15.01 for Dave Bodio as he is Running away with it. You look at his first five laps to get things started here. James McMillan second, Henry Frazier third, Caleb Boat right fourth. Again, Nathan Bray did not make the call to green, did not start from the fence, so he'll start from the back in tonight's feature. And if you're new to Tuesday night cluster trucks, Series varies around asphalt ovals, dirt ovals, and of course they're jumpy trucks. They also go to road courses for sure. Last first road race of the year was at Wild West. Coming up, we'll be going to our to an asphalt road course race at Summit Point. So we're on the last lap here for Dave Bodio in the racecraft number 16. has won the last two races. It's two for two and starts with Lowell Nelly this season off of turn number four. Checkers out, Bodio wins E2. McMillan second, Frazier third, Boat right in fourth. And so that does it for heat race number two. Let's give you the lineup for heat three. Four drivers in this heat. Jesse Isidore on pole position, the 15. Next to him, it's Peyton Jewell in the 73. Kyle Schreckengost, I believe I've got that pronounced correctly, in the number 29, uh, filling in for Nelly this evening while Nelly's in the booth, or in the uh, tower, I should say. Justin Millette starts next to him in truck number 89.
we get set here. Ten viewers already watching on Sly Job Racing Network. That's awesome to see. Thanks for joining us. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Good aerial shot here as we get set to go green. Flag is out underway. Green, green, green. Good jump from Jesse Eister off in turn number two again. This one determined here. Full center will be this evening for the first feature. That will depend on who finishes second. Lap one led by Eister. Here's the race for second. Jewel and Schreckengoss, or Schreckengoss correction. Wall. Gotta be careful, remember, can't wall ride here. Could be subject to the penalty. Back on board with the number 73. He tries to get a run, but right now it is all high side. This track is just completely slipping out where it's tough to pass anywhere. Jewel trying to possibly bump and run here. Same time, set up a slide job. On board, Jesse Eisdor in truck number 15. They slightly touch off the corner. Joe trying to get a nice exit. He could set up a slide job for the race lead. That's what he's trying to do in turn number three. Gives Eisdor the lane, and the 15 is clear. Joe trying to send it deep. That's tight. Nearly makes contact again with Eisdor. Back on board the 15 truck. They've got a really good gap on Schreckengoss in truck 29. I wonder if Jules playing some possum here. 15.09, by the way, last time by for Justin Geist to do a quick lap of this race. I wonder if Jules playing possum here because he believes he's got a faster truck, but if he decides not to go for the pass, he's on pole position this evening. So that's a little something you may want to keep in mind. Lap times continuing to tick away, continuing to tick away from Eisner, who has increased the lead. It's racked down to pretty quick laps here. Gap, four tenths of a second. Coming off of turn number four, white flag is out, one to go. Jesse Eisner in the elite number 15. Drew up the wall, maybe trying for one last gasp. Looks underneath, Jewel on pole position tonight. Isidore starts in fourth. Charlie Goss finishes third in E3. Justin Millat, fourth. With that being said, we are ready to go for our feature. I believe the drivers will have five minutes to buzz the track off here at the same time. We'll step aside and go to break. Stay with us here on Slide Job Racing Network. Feature coming up next. Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. Smooth sculpted lines, impressive hardware, aggressive stance. It can only mean one thing. Tis the season to get out and tailgate. Right now at every Bob Johnson, buy any new or used truck, we'll throw in a mafia-ready folding table absolutely free. Bob Johnson, 
This is where the savings are. Bob Johnson. Set for feature time here at Fairbury. Let's meet the field and get you your starting line of 14 cars. If not, 13 cars will be set to take the green flag. Peyton Jewell on pole position in the number 73. Next to him, James McMillan in the one. Row number two, Brody Disher in the nine and Jesse Isidore in the 15. Row three, Dave Bodio in the 16 and Dane Harvey in the 22. Row number four, Nicholas Alone in the 14, next to Henry Frazier in truck number 17. Rounding out the top 10, Kyle Schreckengoss in the 29, next to Jason Fanton in the 85. Row six, Caleb Bowright in the 06, and Justin Millett in the 89. Rounding out the grid tonight, Jesse Dunaway in the 02. No call for Nathan Brady Gray. Five laps this first feature is. You will then invert the entire grid to get ready for the second feature of the night. Already seen some blinking off the pole sitter in the 73 of Peyton Jewel. Well, we're ready to go on, go trucking here at Fairbury. Where else would you rather be than right here? Right now, showtime for feature one at Fowles. Three wide already, four wide already for the race lead. Now it's four wide for third. Yikes almighty as Disher leads lap one. Jewel kissing the wall early. Already a fun race early. Disher likes where his car is on the bottom. He can't clear the 73 just yet. Isidore in the 15, following alone in truck 73. Everyone all two by two off for turn number two. Isidore gets on the brakes as the nine of Disher pops the Tory tire. Jewel's able to clear for the lead. Now here comes McMillan looking for a run, trying to grab a podium spot from the 22 or from, from the 15 of Isidore. Now Zane Harvey looks to become a factor. Had a rough week last week out Lanier, trying to bounce back with a good finish in, in both features. Remember drivers were told, keep it off the walls, the high side of the fast lane, but sometimes can be the risky lane. You don't want to be penalized, that's for sure. Meanwhile, you've got Disha going for the lead. I don't know if he went at the line, but you will blank but it was pretty tight though. What are you thinking here if you're McMillan? See that number 73 blink a little bit. Very tough to tell what's going on. Now Harvey looks for a run, gets into the door. McMillan, everybody loosey-goosey. Three wide, I'd back it off if it was Harvey. Isidora was in a little bit of a pickle. Can he clear for 30? Cannot. Three wide, Harvey sends it in deep, trying to slide job a pair of trucks. And now stuck in the middle of the slider doesn't work. Here comes Bodio now with the number 16. He got loose making contact with Isidore's door. Chance for the lead for alone. Meanwhile in the background on the 73 of Jewel trying to set up the slide job here. Slider is obviously very tough. Nearly made contact with the 73 of Jewel. Let's see if we can keep it clean for right now. One truck up in the air. That was the 17 of Henry Frazier. We keep Time it green versus Yellow it Waves. <laughs> Henry Frazier took a wild ride in the background. I'll show you what happened. Look at the airtime. Rode the fence like he was Herbie. Let's rewind the footage here once more. Slider just gone wrong by the 14 of alone, and look at the ride that Frazier takes. It's right on board here with Frazier. Used that wall like it was a ramp. You see 
our iRacing pace truck. Gonna come back to green this time by double file restart. Joel decides to select the bottom. Very risky to take the bottom here because the top is where you want to be. He may try to go for the slide job here, possibly. Make sure he's got the lead as we're back to green. Immediately green clears green on flag. Disher, so a great restart that he has. But now the nine looks for a run. McMillan up, now swaps all the way downstairs, trying to go for second on the number nine of, of Disher. Disher now cuts off his momentum as the nine looks for the race lead once again. Meanwhile, loose off and with Jewel hanging on. Three wide for second, four wide for the lead. Here comes Harvey, sends it deep into Jewel, who gets hot back to the lead, goes the one. Disher now underneath the three. Greenwood for the top spot. Everybody feeding and banging off for turn four. Harvey the point. Runs this one off the way down low. Up on two wheels. And here comes Isidore for the lead. This is a cluster truck at the moment. All hell is breaking loose at Fairbury. That's for damn sure. And now it's Disher with the race lead. Let's go on board the 22 of Harvey. Trying to make sure he doesn't hit the nine of Disher. Trying to make sure he goes to the lead. Isidore though to his inside. Here goes Harvey for the race lead. The slide job at top. That gets it to work. However, though, the nine counters. And it was three wide once again. Top four cars all under a blanket. Disher, Isidore, Harvey, and Bodio. Remember, the field is inverted. After this first feature, Harvey tries the slider from hell. Damage off the right front of the Nine of Disher. Harvey in the wall, pretty good. Counters back, Disher ends him out. Watch out for Bodio, three wide. Disher on two wheels. That finds a way to hang on to it. Trucks in the wall all over the place. Harvey for the lead, he puts Bodio into the fence. Yellow lights are on. Good golly, Miss Molly, that's for dang sure. Here's a look here. Racing hard for the race lead. And the nine goes for the slide job and right in front of Bodio on a hard hit. Uh, they have just thrown in race control that uh, Brody Disher has been given All right, an man. EOL. Like it back on the pace car, we're not. So, tail on the longest line. For the number nine. Now, this could be something that Disher and Bodio could use their advantage. I don't know if they just touched their moments ago. They might have use this to their advantage because they could finish out back and they could start in the front row. So Zane Harvey is scored at the race leader when we come back to the green flag. He beats out Isidore tonight. Could be the new points leader, possibly. Just have to see. A lot of drivers looking for their first win of the season as we've got Jesse Dunaway. Uh, he, is t he is currently blanking, still in the pits. There should be a real where in the second half, no guaranteed time is allowed in the work area. But we'll come back to green in just a moment. Yeah, we've been told one lap to green. All right, man. Like back on the pace car. We're not going to Dunaway gets and back on the racetrack. He'll restart just about a lap down or so.
All right, we're back to green. Eight laps green to go. Flag, green flag. Single file restarts. We have under 10 laps to go, and Zane Harvey got a good jump. Eidsdor in second, McMillan tucks it back in third, alone fourth, and Havel Kai with Schreckengoss in his Wool Nelly debut in bed. Now this all single filed out. It could be tough to pass here in these final few laps. So condition may have just killed the race here when it comes to passing. We just have to see. May have possible because now the drivers are laying down some really fast laps. Zane Harvey, quickest lap of 14.95. But again, got to be careful when it comes to wall riding. Get penalized. One driver hard on the wall. That was the 73 rule. McMillan underneath for second. See if he can get that to work on Jesse Eisner. It'll be a nice podium finish for him after the controversial last week that he had. Look how hard he's trying to drive it. Yellow is out. Yellow waves with three to go, and Brody Disher is on his leg. That's the second flip we have had all season and got some help by Jesse Isidore, so he wouldn't have to go to the pits to get a toe. See what happened to Yell. More contact with Bodio, and I think did Bodio give him a little bit of payback? Yes, he did. Bodio got up on off the ground as well. So Bodio gave Disher a taste of his own medicine. And both the drivers have been warned. If they have any more beef on the track, they'll be disqualified for the evening. About to load it up on the trailer. So a three lap shootout to determine your race winner, Zane Harvey. Out in front, and it's Jesse Isidore second, James McMillan third, Nicholas Alone fourth, Kyle Schreckengoss rounds out the top five. Harvey's currently your biggest mover of the race. He started from sixth, one heat one, and is your pole sitter. So right now for Harvey, I guess you could say it's been a perfect night for him so far. Green is out, three Green laps to go. Harvey able to hold serve. Last call for Jesse Isidore and company. Two sticks are up in the air, two to go. Nice door now, but I think for Zane Harvey may have to try and set up a slider to go for the win. Could all hell break loose on the final lap. We'll just have to see what happens here. White flag out, one lap to go for Zane Harvey. And the Ram Trucks Mopar number 22 would be his first win of the season. McMillan goes for the slide job for second. Alona tops it up for turn four. Zane Harvey, your winner for twin heat number one. Isidor second, McMillan third, alone fourth, Schreckengoss rounds out the top five. A nice start here to the evening. Zane Harvey gets win one. The gap in points cut down to, I believe, a single marker. I'll have to double check through iRacing once all the points are all updated. There's a look at the 14 drivers that finished. Let's talk with Zane Harvey. Zane, hell of a drive, man, to get up to the front. How fun was that race tonight? I don't know, man. I, I beg to differ here with you because of all the double file racing we had before the Bodio accident, you know, guys like Disher, he was getting the bottom side to work. And, I mean, 
you I think I don't know if you had the bottom side working earlier because of a slide job. Is that just the typical racing we see here at Fairbury? Was it uh was it tempted as well to uh, use the top and try everything to not hit the to not try not ride the wall because of penalties? Who do you want to give shout outs to? All righty, man. We'll let you go. Best of luck in uh, feature number two. You got to start all the way from the back in that one. All righty. Sounds good. St. Harvey, your race winner in uh, our first of two features tonight. We're going to step aside and take a break. When we come back, it's feature number two. Stay with us on Sly Job Racing Network. Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill-based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. Smooth sculpted lines. Impressive hardware. Aggressive stance. It can only mean one thing. Is the season to get out and tailgate. Right now at every Bob Johnson, buy any new or used truck, we'll throw in a mafia-ready folding table absolutely free. Bob Johnson, this is where the savings are. Bob Johnson. We start with fresh, never-frozen ground beef, follow it with our homemade meat hot sauce, and finish it with your choice of toppings, always made to order. Our world's greatest cheeseburgers will make you say, Give me, give me, give me, feel great. Hi, my name is Henry, and I want to welcome you to Batavia Downs Gaming. We want you to love it, not just like it here. We went to our customers and asked them what we can do better. You said you wanted a hotel, so we built one. More and better food. We did that too. A separate place to smoke and play? We even did that. Batavia Downs Gaming and Hotel is the right size with the right people in the right location. Batavia Downs Gaming. Come here to dine, stay, and play. Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel. Visit iRacing.com. Gate set to go here for feature time. And let's move. We are moments away from going here. Apologies, by the way, we did not have Zane Harvey's interview uh, on the air. I forgot. During it, we got some new audio settings uh, that we're playing around with. And 
forgot to mute our uh, Discord. Discord it was muted during the race because that is our one way. Uh, and then post race it turns over to interviews here. So I'm gonna get St. Harvey here after the second feature here too. So so we can make sure we give him his uh, saludos for sure. So all right, here's how the lineup looks for heat for feature number two. Again, it is all inverted. It's all inverted based off of how the drivers finished. Okay, so Jesse Dunaway will be on pole position, so don't trust the starting lineup here on that. We're gonna give it to you. Uh, we'll give it to you here in just a moment. So it's going to be Jesse Dunaway on pole position in the O2. Next to him, Dave Bodio in the 16. Row 2, Justin Millett in the 89. And Caleb Boatwright in the O6. Henry Frazier is on row 3. Inside of him is Brody Disher. Row number 4, Jason Fanton and Peyton Jewell. Then rounding out the top 10, Kyle Schreckengost and Nicholas alone. Row number 6 is James McMillan and Jesse Isidore. And if Zane Harvey wants to sweep tonight, have to come from the 13th position. So it's everything, it's all set to go. Maybe delaying the start here in a, in a lap or so. So we can get this all set to go. And there's your pole sitter for the evening in Jesse Dunaway. Rough feature, Dave Bodio likely the favorite to win this race for win number three of season one. We are being told that Peyton Jewell will have to start from the pit, so I'll change up the grid order here just a bit. let you know when we are going one to green. And I believe this is one lap to green. I believe we are set to go racing for our second feature of the night and that's the case. racing pace truck. I don't know if it's going to make the uh, left hand repair road. Nope, it's not. We're going one degree this time by. Jesse Dunaway, Dave Bodio, Justin Malak, Caleb Boatwright, Henry Frazier, Brody Disher, Kyle Schreckengoss, Jason Fanton, James McMillan, Nicholas Alone, Jesse Isidore, and Zane Harvey. Let's continue trucking because where else would you rather be than right here? Right now, second feature is great. Showtime at Fairbury. Dunaway and Bodio door to door for the race lead. Off the corner, it's Dunaway that leads. Lap number one, a lot of contact behind. Oh man, Henry on the wild ride once again up on the fence and upside down. That is the second, if not third time that Henry has caught huge air tonight. We 
We were able to complete a lap. Let's show you what happened. So you watch it slow mo. Actually, we're going to watch this. Across the start finish line, three wide, caught the wall all by himself. Throw the facts. Then in turn one, the bigger facts. We were actually hearing that. I Contact that was made by the 29 of Shrek and Goss. So, Will Nelly right will go to the back. Talking with some drivers between features, and it's very interesting. The first feature was a high side dominant track. The second feature here tonight completely changed. It's a slimy track, it's going to be low groove dominant. If you see the pace truck in, we're coming back to green here. Not away the right to fire whatever he wants. There he goes, back to green. Big stack up behind. It's done away able to hold third. Walk out! Bang! What a save right, from Boatwright. Right. We'll go back to yellow though. And now we're rocking with Peyton Jewel. So we're gonna rack him and stack him back up as soon as possible. Look at that save from Boatwright. That collected a lot of the 89 as well. We also saw the Camillan crash. Same with, I believe, maybe Isidore Jewel and Frazier after the yellow was waved. We've been told that was a premature yellow, but hey, sometimes you gotta be safe then sorry. Bodio in the work area. And he is. His way back on the track. So two laps are complete in this feature. Check that three laps complete in this feature. We take the green flag. Dunaway Disher, road number one, Harvey Boatwright, road two. High school track goes for a four for Richard Fanning, round out the top ten. We're ready to come back to the green flag here. They've turned the lights back on the pace truck. It should be one to green this time. And I don't know. I don't know why the lights are still on here. Now the lights are off and we're ready to go green. Dunaway waits. Later, re later jumped on the previous flag. restart. And everyone's waiting for now as we go back racing. Dunaway and Disher, door to door. We've got one around. Just in the lot. No caution. We stay green. Harvey forces one on the wall. That puts himself in the barrier. Three wide for four. No, oh, look out. Big All crash right, with Harvey on its noggin. Up and over your winner in feature one went. Four wide for a moment. Then you see the eight. Just torpedo. And then Boatwright finished him off. Go on board with Harvey. You know, when you're nearly roof first into the wall, that, that's a very scary situation. So 
So when the sun goes down, the lights come on. Drivers make it crazy in town. Wide, nearly four wide for second once again. Dunaway falls all the way back down to fourth position. And so Disher back out in front. That's where he wanted it. It's McMillan who his third in feature one. Moves up to second. Knocks off the right rear quarter panel for just a moment. Ice Norton Shrekigos race for the third spot. And the gap coming in to his feature number two when it came to the points. Ice Norton was leading Harvey by two. Harvey won, Eisner finished second, so Harvey closed in by a digit. Now with the accident that Zane Harvey had, that's going to be a big opportunity for Eisner to extend the lead. Now all the drivers have pretty much increased their presence. Oh my goodness! Henry Frazier again barrel rolling! Um, I hate to break the fourth wall here, but Nelly, we may need an award for uh, most airtime this season. And right now, Henry Frazier clearly is dominating this category. That's his second flip of the night. And we're hearing Nick goes to the back. With alone. That was Nicholas alone that doored him. There, tried to cut off the slide job. Wild flip, 17, as he's trying to get her straight. I think somebody was trying to help him get back on all four wheels. All right, man. Lights it back on the pace car. We're not going green this time. We are not going green. Got Bodio out of the race. So we can go green this time by. Now we got Bodio on the track. I thought for a moment he was out of the race because it didn't say he was in the pits. Very strange, but nevertheless, we're back to green. Green, green, green. Fisher immediately clears McMillan and Sir. Jesse Eisner trying to get the bottom to work once again. But it won't really. Here's a run from Kyle Schreckengoss. Look to be on the podium with a slide job, unable to do it there. Bottom line is pretty much gone away. We're striking for the high side as soon as possible. Harvey gets towards that once again. Back up to ninth after he flipped earlier on in this race. One driver extremely sideways. It was Jason Batman. Schul tries to crowd him up the racetrack. Here comes Dunaway. And he's on track and Goss tries to slide him from Beth. Nothing there. Harvey on the attack from Beth. Back up over the ramp 22. Now on the back of the wall, Nelly 44 in Shrek Goss. Harvey last time by, quickest lap of anyone at a 14-8. All right, man. Caution on the track. Oh, another wreck. Is that? Oh, my goodness. That's Frazier again. <laughs> Jewel just put himself up and over. See if we have a replay on that. That was a 
Big wreck. I believe this started with Peyton Jewell with a 73. Let's see. Rolling another slider. That was clean, though. But then I may have hooked the 73. May have. Up on, on up the wheels down. Jewel put himself on his side. And we have been told that we've got some beef. Frazier in alone, and I mean, I can understand why he's frustrated. Because he's been flipped a lot tonight, but hey, take it on the chin and deal with it and drive, that's what I say. Come back to the green flag. I think we're waiting for Jewel to get back on the racetrack, and that was the case. Dave Bodio, a couple of laps back here, way behind off the pace. So that's why we're waiting on also trying to sort some stuff out. While we are at it, while we are at next week's summer raceway, should be a fun race you won't want to miss out on. Make sure you join us for that, 8.30 p.m. on Slide Job Racing Network. Back to green, just over 10 laps to go. It's Disher holds her. McMillan trying to move, trying to hang on to the second position. Eister tried to slide job. This could help out Schreckengoss. Move her in podium position, which it does. Back right on the high side, but we're seeing a lot of sparks fly. On the track, Schreckengoss just touches McMillan for a moment. Run from Dunaway on Fatten from Fenn. Nice run from Jason Fatten. But a tough season for the driver of the 85 so far this year. But he's having a great run. Taking Rex to his advantage. Be able to watch out. Zane Harvey back up to seven. He's got double file, top four, able to pull away. Harvey's got himself a lane. Rides the wall for just a moment. Actually tapped it for a moment and got momentum to move two to one up to fifth. Harvey, once again, I believe is the fastest driver on the track. But your top three drivers knows the tail with seven circuits remaining. Harvey, the quickest driver right now, 1476, last time by. Nick Mellon goes for the race lead, tries the slide job, puts Disher in the wall, and here comes Schreckikos trying to go to the point. First ever star in the wall, Nelly Tuesday night cluster trucks for Shrek and Goss, and now he's on the wall, Disher hangs on, Eisinger now goes for third, Harvey's now with a battle for the lead. 
Five to go, and this could help Disher fall away from the thick of things. Harvey up to fourth, and right now, the gap is down to one point in the fight for the championship. Oh, watch out. Harvey may slide John McMillan here for third. That's what he goes for. Nearly set Shrekki Gost around. Harvey's trying everything badly to get the podium spot. Three laps to go in all of this. It's helping Brody Disher pull away. We'll talk with your top three after this race. Two to go, the yellow flag is out. And we've got a Waffle House in turn four and up and over goes the eight. Try and get it back on all four wheels. Try the slide job, he puts Dunaway in the wall. Trying to block, Dunaway just took him out. Simple as that. You know, I, and I hate to call people out on this broadcast. I mean, I know this is a league that's supposed to be for fun. But like, when we're seeing like all this, we're seeing all this dumping like that, it's kind of ridiculous. Like, and I'm not, I'm not trying to call anybody dumb, but like, there's a lot, there's a lot of things that need to be worked on out of this race. We're coming to overtime, a green white checker with two to go. Your top three: Disher, Shrek, and Gosta McMillan. Disher with the big advantage because of it being a single file restart. Green flag, green flag. Back to green. Big gap from Disher over Schreckengoss, the 44. Trying to keep the high side going. McMillan puts Harvey in the wall. Isidore trying to extend this points lead. Trying to go two for one. Harvey slide jumps McMillan. Three wide, Harvey in the wall, pretty good. Isidore takes fourth as we're on the final lap. Into turn number three. Shrek and Goss trying to make one final grab and an offer for second win of the season. Brody Disher, checkered flag. He has now swept the dirt ovals so far. One at Lima Land, now his one at Fairbury. Get the results here on your screen. Disher the winner, second Shrek and Goss, McMillan, third Isidore, fourth, and Zane Harvey, fifth. Nice comeback for Harvey, going from 13th up to fifth. At the end, here's the rest of how the field looks. We're gonna unmute the Discord here. And I, I, I do wanna begin with Zane Harvey Zane, I know you didn't finish in the top three, but we had the Discord muted uh, during feature number one, so we wanted to bring you back and uh, pay your dues for you here for uh, tonight. How'd you how'd you feel about this race as a whole, the Twin Twenty Fives? Uh, I mean, it was pretty cool. It was, you know, me winning the first one set me all the way in the bag for the second one. So may do. There's a little bit of rough racing through there, but that's what you expect coming up through. But Salvage a decent finish in the second one from the win on the first, so we'll take it. Yeah, you made a nice comeback after trying, after even at the same time getting the fastest lap of the race. Who do you want to give shout outs to? Uh, we can do Skytech Gaming and Logitech Wheel and Pedals, and that's it for me. All right, sounds good. Congratulations on a great night tonight, and uh, best of luck next week on the road course. Thank you. St. Harvey of the win tonight and fifth in feature two. Let's begin with our top, let's begin with our third place finisher and we will talk with James McMillan. James after he just moved himself back in. Let's bring him back in here. James after you got a copy, you need to unmute your mic. What is he doing? I don't know what he's doing. James, you gotta unmute your mic. 
There we go. All righty. James, after a tough break for what happened for you last week, this has got to be a great way for you to rebound. A great night tonight. Yeah, it was uh, it was great. I I got to apologize to Zane Harvey and, and Shrek and Goss. I, I kind of ran them both over, and I apologize. I was just I was fighting for that top three. I wanted to get on the podium. I wanted to get an interview, and it feels good. What, do you, what positives do you take away, though, from tonight? Uh, I really don't know, honestly. <laughs> well, regardless of that, who do you want to give shout-outs to on the run? Uh, i got to give a shout-out to Will Nelly, first off. He's the one that puts this whole deal together, and we all have something to do on a Tuesday night, and it's a blast. And uh, Affliction race cars, and that's about it. All righty, well. We'll let you go. Great job tonight, and uh, hopefully we'll talk to you again next week. Appreciate it. Thanks, Marty. Let's go to the second-place finisher, and I want to make sure I've got this correct here, Kyle. Your last name, is it Schreckengost? Yes, sir. You nailed it. All righty. I got it the entire night. What a debut nice. for you tonight, man. Finishing in second in feature two. Walk us through your race tonight. I'll tell you what. It took a little while just to get used to these trucks and how you got to drive them. Um, but with it being a little tacky, it was a little more forgiving and that made it a little bit easier on me. But once I started following those boys on the top, I realized how I kind of needed to enter a little bit better. And, uh, yeah, it just made all the difference there on the second feature. You nearly struck gold, uh, taking the lead on Disher and McMillan when the two got together with each other. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking I might get lucky there, but I knew there were some hot tempers coming into the next corner. So I was just trying to run my line and see how that shook out. And I didn't end up struck in gold, but I'll take silver for now, I guess. Absolutely. Well, who do you want to give shout outs to on the run? Well, I got to thank Mo Nelly. Uh, he pulled his backup truck out and let me run it tonight. So I had to give him a shout out and get him some good exposure. So I'll give him all the praise tonight and let me come in and crash the league and have some fun with the boys. Alrighty, well, we'll let you go. Hopefully, we see you next week. Great job tonight. Thank you, sir. All right, that's Kyle Schreckengost, who finishes second tonight. And let's go to your winner in victory lane, second win this season. Brody Disher, you're two for two on dirt ovals, man, and what a run for you. Ah, uh, yeah, that was, that was interesting. That was a lot of fun. Wild feature one, I think you want to forget about that. And let's talk about the second feature, man. Where did you feel your car, your truck was good tonight? Um, well, I mean, right around the top on the tacky track, I feel like you know when I ran the bottom it, in the first race, it was it was no good. It was good for a while, and then it was it was no good, and it went away. But the second race, I just felt you know really good around the top. I felt like I was pulling on a lot of the guys behind me. It was a lot of fun. Did you feel like uh, this race was going to be different with the way the track conditions were? Maybe be on the bottom for a lot longer. Ah, uh, no, I knew it. I knew it would be around the top with these trucks. You can't carry momentum in these things, so you have to, you have to find where they're good. And, um, you know, the bottom is really normally never there on a dirt oval. I mean, especially if there's banking. Next week's Summit Point Raceway. How do you feel about that going in? Um, that's gonna suck for me, I feel like. <laughs> I'm not too excited for that, but, you know, we'll give her. Who do you want to give shout-outs to on the run? Um, all my buddies over there in the Rob channel. Um, my mom, my dad for watching. Um, everybody who supports me, MRT Tires, um, Monroe Truck Equipment, and, um, Road Green Construction. Thanks, everybody. Alrighty, well, we'll let you go. Congratulations, a great win for you tonight. Well done. Thank you, Marty. Brody Disher, second win of the season in Tuesday night cluster truck. Congratulations, the driver of the number nine for getting it done here. Let me see if we can pull up the point standings here before we call this a night tonight. Seasons one. And the standings look like this. Three point advantage for Jesse Eister and Zane Harvey. So the gap remains the same. They've increased the lead on guys like James McMillan, Jesse Dunaway, Jason Fanton. 17 for Ice Door over McMillan. And just about 26 for Isidore and Dunaway. Again next week, Summit Point Jefferson. Road race for us, and that will begin at 
8.30 p.m. You can watch it here on the Slide Job Racing Network. Thanks for joining us as always. On behalf of Wonelli Productions, I'm Ari Sagala. Sign off here. You've been watching the Slide Job Racing Network broadcast. Your winners tonight, Zane Harvey and Brody Disher. So long. Racing isn't easy, but experiencing it is. iRacing puts you in the driver's seat with the industry's leading sim racing game. Drive on laser scan replicas of the greatest racing circuits from around the world. Go head to head against other drivers chosen by skill based matchmaking to ensure competitive racing at every level. Compete across all your favorite series. In officially licensed cars, engineered to deliver the most accurate driving experience possible. Join a race or host your own with players from across the globe. Race against the computer or in a league with friends. Feel the thrill behind the wheel.